It has been brought to my attention that I never did a video about how to set up and sell your courses on ClickFlow or any other Go High Level powered platform, Growth Tools, Funnel Gorgeous, the list goes on and on. So it's not it's not tough, but there is one or two aspects that are a little bit tricky and not intuitive. Um, so first of all, they've moved some things around here. They're always making little tweaks, but now it's down here under memberships, courses. So you would think that offers would be the place to put it, but that's not the primary place to put it. That's like, I think that's like, I don't know, special offers or unusual offers, maybe something like that. But basically you're going to connect it to a product. So that's going to be under here in a minute, but let's just say we're creating. These are all pretty much the same thing. It's just a matter of whether they are pre-filled in, you know, six lessons with eight sub lessons or not. So it's pretty much all the same. So, so we don't really need to rename that. So you've got categories and posts within categories. You can create a new category. You can add a subcategory, a lesson, or an assessment, like a test. It's going to start out default draft, so you always want to make sure that that's published before you send it out to people. <laughs> uh, you can also drip the content so it can come to people at different times. They sign up and a week after they sign up, they get access to the next thing and a week later, the next thing, that sort of thing. Or it can be locked for certain people. Um, not sure. I haven't used that function. And it defaults to this kind of layout. You can customize that here. So there's basically three different ones and you, uh, you go into the posts and then you can add a video. You do need it to be a hosted file there. It's not like a YouTube video URL. You can put a post thumbnail. You can add files like a workbook, a PDF to download, and you can write and you know do various formatting pieces. You can also add a link to a video here, add pictures, bullet points make it nice and readable so that's what the lessons parts are going to be then under the details you can get your title and description thumbnail um, you can put yourself in as the instructor give yourself a headshot logo the favicon image do we need advanced no probably don't need custom css and the comments you know, you can decide whether people can comment on the posts or not, but it's not going to be like a, a Facebook group kind of feel. It's just going to be like, here's the lesson and oh, you could leave a comment underneath, but it's not really a robust community kind of thing. Settings, that's probably it. It's been a while. Unbelievable. Oh, right there. Custom domains is a different thing. Okay. So at this point, if I set the DNS stuff, then yeah, we should be able to use it as a subdomain. So basically, if I went back to my DNS settings the same way that I did to create the custom domain here, then I could create a subdomain of, spell it correctly, with the DNS records, and then that subdomain would be where people would see all of the, the courses and the course content. Okay, but I'm not going to do that right now, because I just set up a completely different URL for it. All right, so that was connect custom domains. We get the site details, email settings. So there's a default welcome that gets sent and you can edit and create your own or there is the ones that it comes with. So there's the default one go, please send the default. Um, so that's gonna give them like their login information and you can also set it so that when new content opens up that you set to drip that it will send an email saying go check there's new content stuff like that that supposedly there's an app i have not tried it i've never used that i'm not going to comment about that but then basically this is the other important 
art to be aware of. So you're going to come to products. I'm going to create a product. Call that a digital good. Um, one time, ten bucks. This is the key. This is a membership offer. So, oh, I didn't fully publish that, I don't think. So I'm gonna say this is an offer that gives them access to, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it into a checkout page on the website. So we're gonna come to the website and make a checkout page, like somewhere in here I have courses. So many things. Courses. There we go. Okay. So set up a page, add a product, uh, check out, and then we're going to set. So whenever you put a product check out on the page, it's just going to say dynamic item $99. You're going to be like, come on, where's the thing I actually want to sell? Doesn't show up here. It shows up when the page is published. Um, so that dynamic item, it's going to fill that in with your products that you tell it are connected to this page. So let's go back for just a moment here. This little three dots here, we're going to go to products. It's got two products that are associated with this page. I can also add anything else that I want to here. I could add this. This the usual price. There could be a price display override. It's like special deal just now. It's either a main product or you can set a bump product, which will show up after they start to order. It'll be like a little flashing thing. Would you like to add this to your order right now? So that's the only way that I have seen to do multiple products within a system like this. So that's why I say it's not really ideal for, um, eh e-commerce it's better for funnels and services and just not trying to sell a cart full of things basically okay so once we've told it that those are the products associated with this page then we can go into the product checkout one-step order um, there's also a two-step order that you can put in there instead if you like that. Under advanced, you can do things like toggle whether they need to put the company name, whether they need to put their phone number, their shipping. Cart mode means that they can select more than one thing. If you turn this off, then if there's multiple things, they have to select between them. I think that's right. Gosh, I hope I don't have that backwards. Let's find out. I'm going to test it. You can enable coupon codes that you also set up under the payments tab, enable order bump, and then you have to have already selected this, but then you can be like, one time only, oh my God, you can get this thing. You can set it so that it's already checkmarked automatically. Also add a little image with it, right? <laughs> Not the slickest looking thing, but eh, you know, it works. So I'll save that and preview the page. And remember we had it on cart mode enabled. Yes. Okay. So yeah, it is default checked, which means that it's going to show them this. Okay. So cart mode means they can add more than one of the items, the products that you said were part of this page. And if you turn off cart mode, then they can only, if they select one, it will unselect the other ones. One or ones. Okay. They can always unselect that. Then there's payment. You have to have your PayPal and your Stripe set up there. But that is basically how you sell courses. <laughs> and I'm gonna turn off that get a funnel map thing because nobody knows what that is on this page. So I thought at first that that cart mode okay so if you have 50 different products then okay we can add them but then it's like oh you'd have to have a 
a list of all of them in here and people would have to go through and be like, want that one? No, not that, not that, that one. No, you know, and there's no spot there for like a description of what it is. It's just names. So it's definitely not ideal. But for courses, um, let's um, go back and summarize what we talked about today. So first step is to put your course content into the memberships area, which is right here. Make sure that everything is active, published, and you've updated all of whatever the um, images and settings and things for your course are. Go into settings. Make sure your site details look good. Make sure you have a domain set up. Update and customize the email settings. Then make that into a product. Create your product and say that it's a membership offer. Select the membership you just created. And then make a page with a checkout box element in it and add your products to the settings of that page so that they show up on the cart. And that's it. <laughs> After that, you're finally done. And when people purchase that course from the website page, then they will get that automatic welcome email that gives them their login information for the course and they will be able to access it and log in. If you have any questions, leave them down below and I will also leave some links to some of the other things like setting up the DNS domain stuff that you need and anything else I can think of that was connected to doing this.